Hey guys, Ryan McKenzie here. I'm installing my Anchor Gym four foot pull up bar with the hooks, H1 hooks on them. It's really nice. So, um, what I'm excited about with this is um, it's a solid piece of equipment. It seems like a lot to mount, and you probably want to make sure you're measuring twice, drilling once, right? That's the goal on all this stuff. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, have someone do it with you or do it for you. Hire someone if you don't. Um, but they make it really easy with Anchor Gym. So um, all, all you have to do is find, if you're on, I'm on a concrete block, um, find the spot for it. They give you the, uh, the concrete screws right here. A little baggie like this, yeah, pretty cool. Um, and they're solid and they'll hold you in. Um, you're gonna find your, your spot, you're gonna measure it out and make sure you got the right height that you want. Um, I'm coming up pretty high here on my wall, but you just wanna make sure that you're high enough and far enough over that you're gonna actually measure the other side. So this four foot bar, you've got the right spot here. If you're on a wood wall and you want it on studs, please put it on studs. <laughs> um, so you wanna measure those studs, use a stud finder and find it. I'm in concrete, so I'm just gonna make sure I'm in the right spacing of the concrete, get that in. Um, it seems like a lot, right? But really all we're doing here, to put those down, is finding how high I want it, and then all I'm gonna do is make sure it's level. So once it's level, then I can draw my lines, I can make my marks, then I can get rid of this thing and draw my pilot holes and put the anchors, uh, get it right in place. At that point, you may want a second person to hold it so you can put it in, but um, if you've done it right with the anchors, you should be able to do it on your own, honestly. I think it's easy enough to do. Two people makes it easier, so let's get to work. I'm gonna put this on the wall, make sure it's at the right height and that it's level vertically. Um, that's the two biggest things right now is that we find the height that we want the um, The pull-up bar to be over here So this thing is where the police two bolts here or two little holes here where we're gonna bolt the pull-up bar in And we got to make sure this is vertical and level use a level don't eyeball it You will mess it up if you don't use the level so we're gonna put it up I'm going pretty high because I like these hooks as high as I can to have some high mounts and then we will we'll roll from there and try to see how um, how we can go. So again, we're going high mounts on the uh, pull bar, and then we're going to measure across. I've already measured over here to make sure that it's enough room, but I'm going to measure again to make sure it's exactly where I want it and exactly where I need it. Um, and that should be right at 48 inches across. So then it'll all bolt in together, it'll all be secure to the wall, and we'll be good to go. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we marked our height. And um, now we should make sure this thing is level. This is the challenging part. If you've got somebody with you, it makes a lot of sense to have them with you. I'm by myself in here, so I'm on my own. And we're just gonna make sure that that lines up. Yep. Level. And double check it with the height that we want. I know the line is right there for the height. So we're in on the height. We are in on the, right on the level. All I'm gonna do is mark some spots for the holes. Mark some spots from the holes. Um, mark some spots from the holes. I don't need to drill these yet, but I like to mark them just so that they're, they're there. And last tricky one down here. So we got our four spots. We can drill it out. All right guys, one really quick tip. Um, get some painter's tape or some duct tape as long as you don't care about the walls getting a little funked up there. But I've made this mistake drilling pilot holes into concrete when <laughs> I uh, had already put my gym mats down. Concrete dust and gym mats don't go great together. So um, if you put some tape on the wall um, underneath where you're drilling and fold it back so it's just like this, it will actually catch a lot of that uh, dust. So try it out. I'll drill it out. Let's do it.
All right, we're gonna get the holes drilled. We're on to our installation. And um, this is a easier into wooden studs. Uh, a little more challenging when you're onto um, concrete. The, uh, because you have to have their, their tap in with a hammer anchors that we have. They're very sturdy, but it just takes a little knowing what you're doing. We've got our hammer, we've got our, um, our mount. Now, here's the tricky part, is knowing which ones to do first. You wanna get the middle ones in first. That's what it says in the um, insulation guide that you're following along with. So um, this is just for viewing purposes, so you can see a little bit what's going on. But um, the tough part is, these things come like this, right? And you're not gonna find a concrete anchor that's perfect, but we're gonna put these in the holes that we drilled. We're gonna tap them in. You want this on the top when you tap it in so you're not bending anything out, so you don't lose the top of that back into the hole. Um, so we gotta get it on the mount first, then tap it in. So all I'm gonna do is take the middle ones, and I'm gonna throw them in there just like that, and then I'm is simply just threading everything through. So we're getting back to this. All right, so the way these concrete anchors on, we have to have them in the mount first loosely. We're gonna slide them in the holes that we've drilled. It should line up perfectly in theory. And we'll make sure they just kind of angle in the way we want them to. And then all we're gonna do is just kind of tap them in. So they go in, if we've pulled these too tight, then they're not gonna wanna go in. So we gotta keep them loose, but just on there, grasped firm enough. So we'll tap them in here, and then we'll, we'll anchor them all down. These look like they're all lined up pretty well to go in these holes, and then we will we'll go from there. All right, guys, we got our holes drilled here. Make sure those holes are cleaned out. The wall's still a little dirty. That's fine, because we can wipe that down later. But with these holes, we're gonna take our anchors. They're provided from Anchor Jam. Now, if you requested the concrete anchors, that's what you get. Um, if you're on, studs, then I'm drywall and studs. You wanna make sure you're in a stud. If you're not in a stud, that's bad news. Uh, but holes are cleaned out, we're gonna slide these in. And all we need to do here is just tap them in. So we're putting them into the concrete, into the wall. Um, they should be almost all the way in there. We're trying to drill them all the way through. And here, kinda of get to that point where they're not gonna go any further. So, um, once we get them all the way in, we can then unscrew these bolts and put our um, actually pull-up bar on top of it, and then we'll crank it down. So our next video, we'll have it cranking all the way down. These bolts will go in each hole. We'll tap them in all the way through, and we're just getting them all the way into the back side of that hole so that we can actually hit to the back, get the full effect all the way into the concrete, unscrew the bolts and the washers, put our... Um, our pull-up station on top of it, the H1 hooks, and then crank them all down, start on the inside, making sure it's tight. All right, so we don't wanna to get too tight too soon because when we put the other side up, there might be some wiggle room if we weren't perfectly level, right? There's always a chance that we made a mistake, but um, if you tighten them down too soon, then the other side won't line up on the pull-up bar, so we're gonna get them in there so it holds, then we'll put the other side in, and we'll tighten those down so it holds, then we'll tighten the pull-up bar, then we'll crank everything down together at the end. Sounds good. Sounds good, we're on our way. All right guys, we've got our anchor gem mounts in place here. I've got the bolts hand tightened down and um, this is best done if you have it done on both sides with someone holding up. You've got your measurements and your holes all put in place. We've already tightened one side down, not all the way, but most of the way. And then this side, all we gotta come in is just tighten down and then ratchet them in as best we can. We get some slight tightening in here, so where this thing comes all the way in as much as you can. And no, you want to get in each one of these bolts, pull it, it'll expand it once it's in the concrete, if you're doing concrete anchors. And, and you don't want to tighten it so much that there's no wiggle room in the thing. So I've got this down tight already here. Um, but if you're, if you're unsure if this bar is going to fit at all, you want to put one side up, attach the bar, put the other side up, loosely hand tighten them, attach the bar, and then you can start tightening everything down, um, tightening the bar down, tighten the wall down, tighten the wall down, tighten the bar down a little more, tighten the wall down, tighten the wall down. If you do it all at once as hard as you can, like as tight as you can the first go around, 
Um, you don't want to over tighten it, but what that does is if it's off at all, it leaves you very little wiggle room or air room for mistake. Um, because we want this to be as level as possible, but if you're doing it yourself, odds are you might mess up a tiny bit, like just a, a millimeter or a fraction of an inch off. And when you do that, then all of a sudden this thing's gonna like use the concrete to, to flex. And that's not what we want. We want to get in here and make it the exact best we can have it. So when we're working out and our clients are working out that there's no, um, there's no doubt in our mind that it's in there well, right? There's no um, looseness. And so once we tighten all the way down, we'll go back again. We'll tighten it some more. We'll get in, tighten as much as we possibly can all the way around that guy. Tighten as much as we possibly can all the way around that guy. And then we'll tighten as much as we possibly can and come back up. You, at that point, everything should be tight. We're in here, there should be no wiggle room. There should be nothing up and down side to side. It should be firm in there. If you've got any wiggling or any wobbling, then something's off. And eventually that vibration will break something loose or you just don't want to put any weight on the thing, which is the point of a pull-up bar, right? So again, if you're used to doing this, get your hammer drill, get your socket wrench, get the, uh, the attachments Anchor Gym sends you and go for it. If you're not, get somebody to do it for you. But guys, you want to tighten one side down with some help of somebody else, um, get their hand tight on the other side, make sure that the bar lines up perfectly, then tighten everything else down and you're, you're good to go. Get some pull-ups in. Let's go! <laughs>